Part of the fun of Snapchat and Instagram is the ability to manipulate, manipulate photos with special images and filters. But a new image available on those apps has a number of people wondering if they've gone too far. Money editor John Delano has a story new at five. It's Gay Pride Month with the LBGT community celebrating. So the timing of this new GIF or graphic information format superimposed on your photo or someone else's picture on Snapchat or Instagram oh, raises yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. I do find it offensive. Uh, the only word I can find is inappropriate for it. Yeah. You just like don't say that. With a gay pride rainbow, the words, I am a big gay, and then the four letter word for homosexual. Yeah, that's a little offensive. Offensive. Absolutely. Not everyone agrees. I don't think it's particularly bad because people can put it on theirs to express their sexuality. Many said it could go either way. It could be bad or people might like it. It depends. It's either you embrace it or you don't. So it all depends who the person is, I feel like. We're in a very ultra-sensitive world right now. And words matter and words can hurt. Christine Bryan is with the Delta Foundation of Pittsburgh, a gay advocacy group. And she says the four-letter H word is not always negative. Is probably what some would call a slur. But I think, again, it's how the word is used and who is using it. As for an LGBT person using this GIF on Snapchat or Instagram, Brian sees no issue. I think if a person is comfortable using that word and that's how they identify, then they should be able to use that. While these words may not be offensive to some, they can be really hurtful to others, especially to the young who use them against other adolescents to ridicule, to out, and to offend. Let's talk about the younger generation. And it's, in a, it's used in a hurtful way. And that child might not have the wherewithal to be able to withstand that bullying. Bottom line for anyone using that GIF on Snapchat or Instagram? Dignity and respect are two really important words. And you don't have to agree with things, but you just need to treat people as you would like to be treated yourself. John Delano, KDKA TV News.